Hi, I'm Carl Taylor, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to achieve perfect, no cutout white backgrounds for your product photography. Thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Use coupon code CARL to get a 10% discount. In this series of shots here, you can see how we've achieved perfect white backgrounds with no cutout required and beautiful lighting on the products themselves. Let's take a look at how it's done. So, to start off, the setup for achieving pure whites is simple physics, really. We've just got to look at how to apply it. So, a great technique that I've used for many years is to use a glass or clear acrylic sheet, which you raise off the ground, as I've done here on a couple of blocks and a couple of taped up bricks. The method and technique from there is to then illuminate the white surface underneath that glass, and in this case I have a sheet of white matte acrylic on the floor, but you could just use white painted floor or white paper, and we have one LED light shining down onto the floor, illuminating that white area and bouncing off the white reflector at the back. You can make this more effective by using two lights underneath, but I'm just trying to show you with the uh, minimal amount of lighting for that. So by illuminating the floor at the right exposure level, we can bring our white level up underneath the product to the right value until it reaches pure white. The remaining lights at the top, which include two more LEDs here and another LED square panel here, are for illuminating the product. However, this illumination will not really work with this product on its own because this is a glossy spherical item. But I'm going to show you how by using the Carl Taylor light cone, which has exactly the right optical density properties for smooth gradations in the product, how this will magically transform that into an amazingly lit product. First of all, let's take a shot as it is, check our white background, and then we'll use the light cone. So here is our shot as you see it, and as expected, we have achieved a perfect white background, no cutout required whatsoever. That could be dropped straight onto an e-commerce catalogue site or website, etc. But the problem is the lighting in the product isn't very attractive because we have harsh specular highlights due to the glossy reflective surface of the product and its spherical shape. And this is a common problem with other products as well. But by using the Carl Taylor light cone, we can bring it in and we can insert it over the product. The camera then looks down through the opening hole and this light cone transforms the illumination by creating exactly the right diffusion levels to make the product look more attractive. And let's take the same shot again. And here we can see the fantastic result that the light cone has offered us. So now we have a combination of two really good elements. One, great lighting on the product, and two, perfect, no cutout white backgrounds. Let's shoot a few more products. So for this product, we have an extremely difficult to photograph, highly polished chrome door handle. You really couldn't get much more difficult to photograph, but we can achieve the perfect white cutout with my glass tabletop or acrylic tabletop uh, and lighting underneath solution. Uh, we'll take the shot and we'll look how bad it is uh, under just this general lighting. And we can see there terrible result, all the chrome plate reflecting the ceiling and the surrounding area. And this is in a nice bright white studio. In a smaller um, space, it would be even more difficult to photograph. But if we bring my light cone in and we introduce that over the top like so, put it in position, and we take the same shot and voila, a wonderful result. So here we have another catalogue style e-commerce shop where pure white background is required with no cutout, this time on jewellery. 
and jewellery is notoriously difficult to photograph because of all the reflection problems. So let's just photograph it as is and then show you the improvement that we'll get with the light cone. So there's the result without the light cone. Very harsh, very contrasty, reflecting all of the studio and the lighting around us. And as I said before, this is even in a fairly white space. It would be worse in a smaller home studio. But when we bring the light cone in, we can correct all of that lighting because we're basically using the physics to eliminate any external reflections other than beautiful diffused reflections coming into our product. So another commonly photographed e-commerce type product on a pure white background, take the picture, looks terrible because of the non-gradated lighting, but we do have the pure white background with our technique. We introduce the Carl Taylor light cone, we diffuse that light beautifully, take the shot again and look at that. What a wonderful result from that simple technique, pure white backgrounds combined with beautiful gradation lighting from the Carl Taylor light cone. This video is brought to you by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com forward slash Carl to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain.